Have you ever felt like you don't quite fit in? Like you're somehow different, operating on a separate wavelength from everyone else? This feeling of being an outsider, especially for those who believe they are chosen, can be both empowering and alienating. As Christians, this sense of being set apart is not foreign. The Bible speaks about being chosen by God for His purposes, which can often lead to feelings of isolation from the world. Today we'll explore what it means to be chosen, why that often leads to feelings of disconnection, and how we can embrace this call. A rare verse from the New Testament that perfectly aligns with this sense of being chosen, but feeling isolated, is found in 1 Peter 2 verse 9, which reads, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. That you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness, into his wonderful light. Peter is writing to a group of believers who are scattered and marginalized, living as foreigners in a land that doesn't understand or accept their faith. His words are a powerful reminder that they are chosen, set apart for a special mission, even though the world around them may not understand or accept them. Feeling like an outsider Being a chosen one in the context of faith is often a paradox. On one hand, we have the exhilarating knowledge that we are set apart for God's unique purpose. On the other hand, this very set-apartness can lead to feelings of disconnection from others. We see this pattern throughout the Bible. Consider Joseph, the favored son of Jacob. He was given dreams that revealed a great destiny, but his own brothers rejected him, sold him into slavery, and abandoned him. Joseph's journey from being an outsider to fulfilling his God-given purpose is a powerful reminder that being chosen often comes with trials and separation before the ultimate calling is realized. Similarly, Moses, called by God to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, first experienced rejection from his own people and isolation in the desert. Yet, it was in the wilderness, away from society, that God refined him and prepared him for his mission. Being chosen is not about fitting in with the world but about being faithful to God's plan, even when it means feeling disconnected. The Weight of Expectation When you are seen as someone special or chosen, others often place high expectations on you, expecting you to perform or live up to certain standards. As Christians, we may feel a similar weight in our spiritual walk. Society, and sometimes even our fellow believers, can impose expectations on what our lives should look like. The pressure can become overwhelming, causing us to doubt our worthiness or ability to fulfill the calling placed on our lives. Even Jesus himself faced the weight of expectations. Many expected him to be a political messiah, a king who would overthrow Roman rule. But Jesus' mission was far greater than earthly expectations. He came to fulfill God's will, and that sometimes meant disappointing human expectations. He didn't fit into the mold people had for him, and neither should we be trapped by the expectations of others. Self-doubt and uncertainty, a tool of the enemy. The enemy loves to use our feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt to make us question whether we are truly chosen. The isolation that often accompanies being set apart can amplify these doubts. When you feel disconnected from others, it's easy to wonder, am I really on the right path? The Apostle Paul faced similar doubts. He speaks candidly about the struggles he endured, the persecutions, the imprisonments, and the sense of abandonment he often felt. Yet, Paul did not allow those feelings to define him. He clung to his calling, trusting that God's strength was made perfect in his weakness. When doubts arise, we must remember that our identity is not rooted in how well we meet others' expectations or even in how we feel at the moment. Our identity is rooted in the fact that God has called us his own. He has chosen us, just as he chose Paul, Moses, and Joseph, for a unique purpose. Embracing our uniqueness it's tempting to think that being different is a burden. 
But in God's economy, being set apart is a blessing. We are not called to conform to the patterns of this world. Instead, we are called to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, living in a way that reflects God's kingdom rather than the world's standards. When we embrace our identity as God's chosen people, we begin to see our uniqueness not as something to hide but as something to celebrate. Our differences become the very thing God uses to bring about His will. As Paul reminds us, God has chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. What the world may see as strange or insignificant, God sees as vital to His plan. Living as a Chosen One so how do we live as chosen ones in today's world without feeling crushed by the weight of expectations or isolated by our calling? You are chosen by God, not because of your abilities or accomplishments, but because of his love and purpose for you. Rest in that assurance. While we may feel like outsiders in the world, God has given us a spiritual family in the church. Surround yourself with believers who can support and encourage you. God's chosen people often face trials and periods of isolation, but these are meant to refine and prepare us for greater things. Trust that God is using even your struggles for His glory. Being chosen is not about being elevated above others, but about being called to serve. Use your gifts and calling to uplift others and point them to Christ. Feeling like an outsider is a common experience for those who are chosen by God, but it's also a mark of his calling on your life. Just as 1 Peter 2 verse 9 reminds us, we are set apart to declare the praises of him, who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Instead of feeling burdened by this calling, let's embrace it, trusting that God will use our uniqueness for his kingdom purposes. If you've ever struggled with feeling isolated or unsure of your purpose, know that you are not alone. You are chosen, loved, and set apart for something greater. Embrace that identity and trust in God's plan for your life. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.